This is Jerem Adair with InternetMarketingForBusinessOwners.com and welcome to this tutorial on finding out what keywords your competitors are using. Your competitors will leave all sorts of clues on what they're doing if you know where to look for those clues. Finding what kind of keywords they're using is no different. I'm going to use examples from real estate investing because it's an area I'm familiar with, but these things can be used in any industry and for any business. Now, if we were real estate investors and we wanted to find people who are in foreclosure, what kind of keywords would we use in our advertisements and on our website to attract people who are in foreclosure? We're going to start out with www.stopforeclosure.com. Now, we can always look at the words and phrases that they have on their website to get some ideas of the keywords that they're using, but here's something you might not know about. If you right-click on a website and choose View Source or View Page Source, there's a meta tag called Keywords, where your competitors have listed their keywords. For example, here we have foreclosure, stopping, foreclosure, stop, avoid, avoiding, prevent, prevention. These are all different words that StopForeclosure.com found that people use when they're in foreclosure and they want to get out. Stop foreclosure, prevent foreclosure, avoid foreclosure. You get the idea. You're not going to find this keyword meta tag on every site you go to, and you certainly don't need to include this on your site. We'll talk more about meta tags in the search engine section of this site because they have more to do with search engine optimization than anything else. But just know that if you go to your competitor's website, there's a chance they'll tell you their keywords within the code of their web page, and that's how you find it. There's another way I like to find keywords from my competitors, and that is using the keyword tool that Google provides. There's a link to this tool below, but here's the basic idea. This is the Google Keyword Tool, and if we click on Website Content on the left here, you can enter a website address and get suggested keywords for that site. Now usually you put your own site in here to find possible keywords related to your website, but if you put in your competitor's website, Google will tell you what keywords it thinks they're using or should use. If we look at Showing Keywords Grouped by Themes, these are the very broad keywords that are related to this site. But here's how I like to use this tool. If you look at these terms, some of them come as no surprise. Real estate, for sale, mortgage foreclosure. But let's look at this. Bankruptcy. Keywords related to bankruptcy. These are all the keywords people have used in Google when it comes to searching for information about bankruptcy. If we look at filing for bankruptcy, for example, we see that thousands of people a month search for this phrase in Google. Do people who are going through bankruptcy need the help of a real estate investor? You bet. They're losing their house. Now watch this. And this is why keyword research is so much fun. Let's copy filing for bankruptcy and search for it in Google and see what pops up. Notice that there's plenty of information on filing for bankruptcy on this page because that's what people are searching for but there's no information on what to do about your house when you're facing bankruptcy. Are people in bankruptcy concerned about losing their house? You bet. Would an ad on this page about what to do about losing your home catch the eye of people in bankruptcy? Probably. Is there any competition on this page from other investors? No, there isn't. So if you put an ad on this page and 20,000 people search for this term in Google a month, do you think you might get some leads that way where you're the first investor they've talked to because you found them on this page instead of on the stop foreclosure search page where every investor and their dog has an ad? Very likely. In addition, is this bankruptcy page a good place to find other businesses to work with? All these places that deal with bankruptcy are places that can send you foreclosure leads if you develop a relationship with them and work together. But I'm getting off topic. Those kinds of strategies and topics will be covered in more detail in the online advertising section and the joint adventures section of this website. But this is what researching keywords is all about, and it works for any industry. You're figuring out what keywords your competitors are using to find traffic to their website, and you're going to either move in on their territory or you're going to find places they haven't found yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.